Hey guys, and welcome to my three hour cleaning marathon. This video is jam packed with some of my best cleaning motivation. We're gonna be decluttering closets, drawers, deep cleaning the kitchen. We're gonna be shampooing carpets and chairs and so much more. So if you're in need of some serious cleaning motivation, you're in the right spot. I love doing these cleaning marathons because you can just put me on and clean along with me for three hours straight. You don't have to stop and find a new video. But if you guys have been around for a while, some of these videos might be familiar to you. They are previously uploaded, but I tried to pull some from a while back that way. Hopefully you haven't seen them before, but either way, they are super motivational and I know it will get you up and get you cleaning. And if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ashley. I'm a stay at home mom to four. I have two girls and two boys. Their ages are 12, 10, seven, and three. So as you can imagine, my house is always a mess and I love sharing that realistic motherhood cleaning. I keep it real and raw. You guys get to see what my house really looks like. I'm definitely not your Pinterest mom. I just keep it real over here. So if you like realistic cleaning motivation and someone to chat along with you while you tackle your messes, then I hope you hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. I do upload cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into all of this cleaning motivation. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing some serious decluttering, organizing, and getting my closet back under control because it's a mess in there. I bought some new organizers, which I'm really excited to use. So we're gonna be pulling everything out, organizing it, and just getting my closet more functional for the space that we have. So I hope y'all are ready for some serious cleaning motivation, but we're gonna hop right into this video. And you guys know my style. Whenever I'm decluttering and organizing, I love pulling everything out of a space and really going through it. So in order to do that, I wanted to first tidy up my bedroom just a little bit. I'm just gonna make the bed and pick up the random clothes on the floor. And then we're gonna be pulling everything out of my closet. As y'all know, we recently got back from a little mini vacation and we still had luggage that needed to be unpacked, mainly on my husband's part. So I was needing to go through that as well as pick up all of our luggage since we used it and we like brought everything down. We just kind of threw it back in here, which is why our closet is completely a disaster. I mean, this is probably the worst that it's been in a really long time. And I just have things that don't really have a spot in here. so. I'm gonna be focusing on making sure I find a spot for everything and discarding and donating whatever I possibly can because I just been feeling super overwhelmed in here. I don't do good with clutter. It makes me really anxious and like just feel really overwhelmed. And this closet has really been getting to me. So I definitely recommend if you guys get that feeling too. I know it is overwhelming whenever you're decluttering and you're like pulling everything out, but I have found that even though it is overwhelming when I pull everything out, if I just focus on one specific thing at a time while I'm going through everything, it makes it a bit less overwhelming. Pulled out a good majority of the stuff that was on the floor. Now we're gonna go ahead and go through all of this and all my towels and stuff I want to put in there that way it takes up less space in the closet and then we're going to be putting this into Adrienne's room so she can use it to store all of her toys so, high, so, high. 
So like I was saying, focusing on one category at a time, like right here, I knew I needed to go through these cubbies, which had our towels and extra sheets and blankets and things like that. So I focused on that first and tried to ignore the rest of the clutter in the room and just focused on one thing at a time. And it really does help me feel less overwhelmed when tackling such a large amount of things. So I have our towels up top. I have another space, that way we can have two stacks of towels. In here are the extra bath mat. These are the little hand towels, and these are the washcloths. And then down here is where I'm gonna put some of the beach towels. We have other beach towels upstairs. So this is just some extras for downstairs. And then down here I have, this is Yoda's other little extra blanket. I swap them out when I'm washing them. And then these are extra pillowcase covers. So everything fit perfectly in here. I'm not gonna put it back in the closet quite yet cause I want a vacuum in there, but I need to go through some of this stuff and I need to unpack my husband's bag and just see what we got going on over here. Possibly anything that I can get rid of. I did sort through our towels. These are the ones that I'm gonna be donating because we have way too many and we don't need that many. So inside my large suitcase is where I keep all of my extra bags and purses. And to be honest, I really don't use these. I knew they were just kind of collecting dust in here. So I went ahead and brought the girls downstairs and asked them if there were any of the bags that they wanted to keep for themselves. And then I went through them and discarded some of them for donation. Just really tried to downsize. I saved the bags that I use for like when we take to the pool, you know, we need like storage for towels and whatnot. So I wanted to hold on to some bags, but I really tried my best to get rid of as many as I possibly could. So the few things that I did keep, I went ahead and zipped up inside of that little pink duffel bag and that was going to be all that I'm going to be holding on to. And then I went ahead and put one of the other luggages inside of my big red one just to kind of conserve space because we are so cluttered in that closet. So I wanted to make sure I was maximizing and consolidating as much as I possibly could. And my husband has the big green duffel bag. So I went ahead and stuck some of his other bags inside of that one. That way we could just fit them nice and neatly in the closet. So now that I have some of those things a bit more organized, I'm actually gonna be going through all of my clothes again. I recently did this. If you guys missed that video, I'll try to link it for you up in the cards or down below but I knew that I needed to get rid of some more. I have way too many shirts and sweaters. I live in Texas, it is so hot here, and yet I have more winter clothes than I do summer clothes. But in my defense, that is because my husband keeps it so cold in our house that I am constantly wearing sweatpants and sweaters because I'm always freezing. 
Uh, but I really did need to go through my things and I am proud of myself. I got rid of quite a few things that I'm going to be donating. So it felt really good to get some of that clutter out of the closet. This shelf has started collecting a few random things so I'm really gonna try to find a home for everything get rid of stuff that I no longer need like those little wicker baskets I had used those I believe for the kids Valentine's Day gifts if I'm not mistaken um, I was gonna hold on to them but I was like you know what I bought these at the dollar store <laughs> like why would I hold on to something that I spent $1 on? And that's what I really try to remind myself if it's something $20 or less and I haven't used it in forever and I'm not gonna use it in a while, I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's not worth holding on to. The clutter and the stress is not worth it for me. So that's kind of my rule of thumb that I try to do. Trying to figure out how I can organize everything Ideally, I would like to put my husband's hunting stuff either up there or up there. And I'm thinking like this is all squished behind these containers. So I'm debating if I should move his stuff to my side of the closet somehow. Um, maybe up here because I wasn't really using that space. And then... I can, you know, I'm not going to keep my clothes right here, but just trying to figure out how to rearrange everything the best that I can. So I'm going to go ahead and like slide everything over, try to fit all of our luggage up here. And then once I got that organized, I'm going to see if I can somehow fit the hunting stuff up there as well. And then kind of go from there. So my husband just went through his hats. These are all that he's keeping. And here are all the ones that he's getting rid of. I have shared these little hat hangers with you guys before, but in case you missed it, 
I did order these off of Amazon. I want to say they come in a set of two, I believe, and I bought two of them because my husband has so many hats. I mean, you saw the pile that he got rid of and he still has a lot more. Like he filled up all four of these hangers with his hats. <laughs> so uh, he definitely needs to get rid of some more, but I am proud of him for getting rid of like half of what he had because he just holds on to way too many of them and he usually wears like the same four hats over and over again. And that's what I told him. I'm like, you get new hats and you get stuck on those hats and then by the time you're done with them, you've already got new ones. <laughs> so your old ones don't even get used. So I'm proud of him. He got rid of a lot, but I do like those hat hangers. I feel like they work great. The only downside to them is if you don't have a lot of extra space in your closet, it it does take up quite a bit of space. So just a thought in case you're thinking about ordering them, make sure you have room to fit them because you know, just think about like the width of the hats. That's how, that's how much space they take up because you know, the hats obviously hit each other when you try to put them on like the shelf together. So just a thought to keep in mind because sometimes I have troubles like figuring out where to hang the hanger of hats at but I ended up making space by moving these shirts over. I hung them over the bookshelf, even though I have books and like some things on here, it was just a better use of space instead of leaving them where all those big Tupperwares are, which if you guys are new here and you have no idea what's, what are those and like why they're in my closet, my husband does collect Pokemon. So we have tons of collectibles in there and he doesn't want to move them into storage. He doesn't want them to get ruined in the garage. So we have them sitting in our closet, which is quite frustrating. I'm not going to lie because they're really big and bulky, but it is what it is. It's fine. Like <laughs> That's his little hobby and he likes collecting them. So I'm going to let him, you know, keep them in the closet, but I really needed to figure out how to fit his like bigger sweaters a little bit more organized in here instead of squished. So over there on the shelf with my books is the best that we can do. So now that we have the bottom of the closet and the clothes organized, it's time to go through the last few random things that were in my bedroom and try to figure out a good spot in my closet for them. So we're just going to be fitting things wherever I can fit them at and make them look the best organized. I'm really happy that I bought this like thinner, taller little drawer set from Walmart which if you guys are interested in in buying one of these I will try to find the link um, for Walmart but I did get it at Walmart I want to say it was like $55 but it's really good quality it held a lot of things and it takes up less space in the closet so I'm really happy with it ideally I would love to get something to store some more shoes because our storage of shoes right now is it's driving me crazy. We don't have enough space on those little built-in shelves, but for now, this is what we got going on. Hopefully I'll find a really good like shoe storage organizer that doesn't take up a lot of space because I feel like we already have so many things in this closet. Guys, here is the final look of the closet. 
You guys, we have so much stuff. And if you guys been following me for a while, you know our storage space is limited. So to some, this might look not decluttered, but I have gotten rid of so much stuff and it feels so good to have a home for everything. So it might not be aesthetically perfect, but it is so much more organized. And you guys know, I love keeping it real over here. So I have one huge bag for donations, which is like clothes and stuff. And then we also have a huge bag of donations from my husband's hats. Those are some shirts that they just get wrinkled. So we're getting rid of those because I do not like ironing or steaming. So those got to go. But now it's time to get started on some of this laundry and then we are going to be finishing up in my bedroom because I need to clear off my dresser and I have a few shirts that came out of the closet that need to be hung up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this laundry started and then I'm actually going to be also decluttering my bathroom in just a little bit you'll see later in this video I wanted to use the other organizer that you guys saw sitting on my bed I bought that specifically for my bathroom so I'm also going to be doing that in this video I'm actually not folding any laundry just kind of getting it going folding it off camera but you guys I have been so backed up with laundry uh, as I was like filming this, I was getting prepared for my girls trip. If you guys have been following me or you watch my vlogging channel, you'll know that I had a girls trip recently. Hopefully as of right now, I'm not really sure if it's going to happen because there might be, you know, weather problems, but the future will tell what's going to happen with that. But because I had that trip coming up, I had to get so far in advance with like my videos and my content and everything. So I have been like really backed up in laundry because I've just been so busy doing other things. So the laundry was out of control. It was super bad. So <laughs> I did a lot of laundry off camera. Now a couple days later and I am ready to start organizing my bathroom. I have that new organizer that I want to use for like my Scentsy bars, my nail polish, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and get underneath my sink, see what we got going on. But before we can do that, we definitely need to clean the bathroom. And this is exactly what I was talking about, you guys. I seriously was so backed up. So here I am starting some more laundry. Not gonna lie, I was attempting to wash laundry, but it would end up sitting in my washer for like a day. And then I would have to rewash it and uh, it's been a hot mess, but <laughs> trying to get my life together over here.
So first I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out on my side of the sink to go through first before pulling out my husband's side too because we had quite the amount of things underneath these cabinets. Say something meaningful, say something I don't know. I wanna know you better. The way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel. I went ahead and pulled all of my stuff out. I recently went, went through this but I'm gonna go through it one more time, see if there's anything I can get rid of. I definitely need to go through my nail polish because I know majority of this is like really old and gunky and doesn't work anymore. So I'm gonna go through my things really quick and then we're gonna pull out the stuff on my husband's side and see what we can put into the organizer just to make sure it just, you know, everything functions a little bit better. I feel like I have way too many baskets that are just kind of overflowing and sloppy and I can't really find anything. So it's gonna be helpful to have this container which has like you know, little drawers to make it easier to find everything. My blow dryer has been struggling to <laughs> work and it's all clogged up in here. So I think I'm gonna try to clean out all of this fuzz that's stuck in here. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful. I really didn't know if I was gonna be able to get all that fuzz out, but I'm pleasantly surprised how much I was able to get out. And just by simply like scraping it with the tip of my scissors. And it was, well, not gonna lie, it was pretty satisfying seeing all that nasty gunk come out of all of these little spots. I wanna put you in that spotlight. Looking at you all night, all night. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful. I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go so I got the back pretty cleaned out but the sides were really tough the wiring is kind of loose so it kept like slipping under when I tried to scrape it out but hopefully it'll run a little better. I'm probably gonna need a new blow dryer here soon.
So this makeup bag had a bunch of makeup that I don't really use, so I threw away a lot of it. And then I have all my eyelashes, which you guys, I barely, I never wear these. I don't know why I'm holding on to them, but they were so expensive that I just don't want to part with them quite yet. But I do have a few random things um, that I'm gonna save. This bag needs to be cleaned and washed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that with the laundry, get that cleaned up. And then I might organize this either in a little bin or possibly in my organizers. Baby with that. So this is under my husband's side of the sink. Just kind of like a bunch of random stuff. So we're gonna pull this out and go through it. Thought I would take a moment to introduce myself in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. I am a stay at home mom to four kids. I have two girls and two boys and their ages are from 11 all the way down to two. So on my channel, you're going to get relatable, real life, messy house clean with me's. I love decluttering, organizing, laundry motivation, all of that. And my number one thing is to show reality. I want you guys to see how I truly clean, what I really do, how my house actually looks when I get done. I'm not trying to make a picture perfect home. The main thing is that it's functional and it's organized and it works for me. And I just want y'all to know that it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't have to look like a Pinterest home and that isn't what we should strive for. It's not perfection. It's just functionality and that it works great for you and your family. So I just love keeping it real over here. I know sometimes I get subscribers say, oh my gosh, you make your bed so messy. It looks like a five-year-old made it. And you guys, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but I am not striving for perfection like I want it to be as real as it possibly can be and sometimes we don't have time to make our bed perfectly and that is totally fine do what you have time for and prioritize what's important to you if having a perfectly made bed that's like crisp and what what are the corners called I'm not even sure the um hospital corners or I'm not sure what people call them but if that is important to you then you do that like do what is important to you but just know that on my channel I'm gonna motivate you to just get up and do whatever needs to be done if it's the bare minimum then do the bare minimum like don't ever feel like you have to compare yourself and especially not to me because I will assure you five minutes after I get done cleaning an area, it's gonna look like a tornado ran through it because my kids destroy everything super quickly. So I just want you guys to know that I'm gonna keep it real over here. And if you like content like that, I'd love for you to subscribe. So the top drawer, I have my random makeup. These are my ponytails, headbands, hair clips, stuff like that. This is the whitening. Um, like teeth whitening light that I use. It's like a blue light. It's, what is this? Um, it is by the Smile Direct Club. I really like this stuff. I'm not consistent with it, but I do really like it. And then this is the hair serum that I use to help my hair grow. Uh, it's by Vigamore. I love that stuff. Um, so I have that. And then my face scrubber. And then my eyelashes and a few like random little makeup palettes. This next drawer is all of my scentsies. I tried to do like summer. This is supposed to be like winter scents, but my fall scents kind of carried over, but these are the fall category, winter and fall, and then for summer. And then this bottom one is gonna be for my feminine products. I need to stock up and get some more but that's gonna be where these go.
I am so happy with how this looks. So I moved all of my heat tools into this like shorter basket because the other basket was like too skinny and just tall. So this one fits a lot better. This is like a bunch of random miscellaneous things that I don't really know where to put, but they fit in that pouch. Here's my extra box of hair color. If you guys were wondering, the last color that I colored my hair was by Nice and Easy. It is number five. The color is just medium brown. I really liked that color. And then I have my nice little organizer. This is my basket that have all of my body sprays, lotion, hair stuff, all of that fits nice and neat. So I put that on top of the bin. And then here's my nail polish, some um, like fake nails. And then this is my dip nail stuff. So everything fits nice and neat. So now we just have to do my husband's side of the bathroom. much better under here so we have a lot of random things um my husband has this naviage i'm not sure what it's called the like nose water cleaner thing so we have like the things that go in that we have like extra pieces to that this is some soap and then we have stuff to make like snake juice if you guys know what that is and then these are like my husband's extra razors and just some more extra soap and then these are all of my plugins that I can easily access. Just pull it out, pop the top open. I love these containers with these kinds of lids. So I got that. I got my bath salts. And then this is the more like everyday used um, extra stuff. So I have my husband's extra shaving cream, our extra toothpaste. And then these are our chargers for our electric toothbrushes. I'm still using the Fairy Wheel toothbrush. I absolutely love it. This thing stays charged literally for so long. I just had to charge it for the first time the other day and I think I've had it for like six months. So hold a charge for a really long time, but that looks so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down our cabinets. The cabinets do need to be wiped down a little bit and then we're gonna wipe down the countertops and we're done. And here are all of the extra baskets and bins and stuff that I have, I'm sure I will find a purpose for all of them. So I'm gonna be holding on to them, but it feels so good to have all that clutter out of the cabinet. For all of my really amazing subscribers that watch all of my videos, you will probably be laughing right now because what is this? The third or fourth video now, like in the last month where I'm in the bathroom and something goes wrong. <laughs> like 
And I swear, I am not doing this on purpose. I could not believe I dropped that bottle. It was brand new and I broke, like the whole tip just broke off. I could not believe I did that. I was like, oh my goodness. It's just become a theme over here. So <laughs> I swear I'm so clumsy. That's just me naturally. I'm always making a mess. I'm super clumsy. I'm like the messiest cook you'll ever see, but that's just the type of person that I am. I guess that's it's probably a good thing that I enjoy cleaning because I make so many messes myself where it's a good thing I like cleaning them because I sure do know how to make them. But we are now at the end of all of this cleaning motivation. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you know how much I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Join my family here on YouTube. I do upload every single Sunday and would love to have you. Today is gonna be a really good one. My house is destroyed. Halloween was yesterday, so you guys, the house looks like a bomb went off so we're ready to tackle the mess we're gonna be doing my entire downstairs tidying it up and then we're gonna be doing some decluttering because there is quite a few things that need my attention and i've just been in the decluttering mood i don't know what it is i guess because christmas is coming up i'm just like ready to get the clutter out especially because i know we're gonna be getting more things for christmas so it's time to get some decluttering done, some cleaning. So I hope you put me on and clean along with me. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I upload cleaning motivation weekly. I am a busy mom to four, so you're gonna get tons of real life messes on my channel and I would love to have you here. So let's go ahead and hop right into And of course you guys, if you did not see it already, I rearranged my dining room. So I used to have my brown table over here, if you guys remember. And we never tried putting our big table over here because we thought for sure it was too big for the space and that the door would like hit, but I love it. I feel like it just made this space look so much lighter and brighter. And for right now, we have our table over here. I'm going to hopefully try to fix my shampooer today. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do the trick that you guys mentioned. Ethan, get the dog out of the cage. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think what we're going to do is try to fix the shampoo or shampoo the chairs because I'm going to be selling this and I'm actually getting a new desk and I'm going to make this my little YouTube area. So I think we're going to do like a toy area slash my desk area and YouTube area. I'm so excited. You guys, this room just looks so much bigger now too without that big table in there. So I'm going to probably be moving this out of here and moving it upstairs, I'm thinking, but let's get to it. Today's video is such a good one, you guys. We are doing so much deep cleaning, decluttering, all of the motivation to get you up and going so make sure you guys stay until the very end and i'm going to be showing you a tip that one of my amazing viewers left me and it worked on how to fix my shampooer that gave out on me so make sure you stay until the end so you can get that tip i was completely shocked but as you can see we're first starting off in the living room it wasn't too bad i just had you know a few things that needed some attention I'm sure you guys noticed there are balloons all over the house. This day was actually Adrienne's 10th birthday. So we had balloons everywhere for her. I was also gonna be baking her a smash cake, which you'll get a small little glimpse of that in today's video as well. But that's why there's balloons everywhere. And no, I'm not popping them today because it's her birthday. <laughs> but as soon as we get done in here, we're gonna be heading into the kitchen, which is where I definitely needed to do some decluttering. We're gonna be tackling my cabinet, which had so much clutter, you guys. All of the random things were thrown in there, so we're finally tackling that and getting it organized, and it ends up looking so good when I get done.
I am also very excited to be sharing new products with you guys in the near future. I have bought quite a few new things that I'm so excited to be trying out. I will let you guys know my honest review of them because they are items that I purchase with my own money just because I've heard great things about them. So be on the lookout for that in the very next video. I have one that I am seriously blown away. I don't know why I waited so long to get it. So I can't wait for you guys to see my next video on Friday. Adrian's birthday is November 1st, so it's the day after Halloween. That's why I still had my trick-or-treat board out, so I needed to put that away and back upstairs. I just had a bowl of candy out on the front porch for the kids because obviously we were trick-or-treating, so we like to put a little sign that says, please only take two. That way, you know, it'll last, which I'm surprised this year, it lasted a really long time, so the kids were really good and only took a few pieces. Super excited. I want to start trying to attempt to make my own like jelly jam from home. So I bought some freezer pectin and then this I am super pumped about. I have like a little box for all of my recipes and I just write them on index cards. But I decided to get this really cute cookbook. That way I can write all my recipes in there. It's in a really nice organized book and I can flip through it. So I'm super excited to have this and get my recipes organized soon. So a fun random fact about me is that I really would love to have like a homestead. I wanna grow my own fruits and vegetables and I love baking and just cooking in general. So I recently have been watching these videos of people who live on a farm and how they make homemade jam and pies and sourdough breads and it really has inspired me. So in the near future, I'm going to be making my very first sourdough bread. I've already made my sourdough starter and it turned out so good. I've been baking with it for over a month now and I think that I'm finally ready to attempt my first bread. If you guys make sourdough at home and you've made bread before, leave me your tips down in the comments because I'm really nervous about it, but also super excited. But I just thought I would share that random tip about myself. You probably wouldn't think because we do live in the country, or not in the country, we live in the city, but my dream would be to live out in the country on a nice little piece of land and growing my own fruits and vegetables. That's definitely a dream of mine. So I'm hoping one day to make it a reality. So as y'all can see, we are in the kitchen now. It wasn't too bad in here. I just had clutter on the countertops. The stove needed to be wiped down and then we're going to be tackling my cluttered area where the coffee bar is and then that upper cabinet and you guys will see it was so bad in there so definitely was time for me to start decluttering like i said i've really been in the decluttering mood so i think i'm going to be doing tons of decluttering if you guys are into that make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos but in case you're new here and you're wondering why in the world did i clean my kitchen and you won't see me clean the dishes that is because my two girls do the dishes for me so my older daughter washes them and loads them into the dishwasher and then my second oldest daughter puts them away into the cabinets so i typically leave the dishes throughout the day that way the kids can do their chores when they get home and that's one less thing that i have to do sometimes the sink gets a little overwhelming and i will do the dishes during the day but for the most part i just leave them for the kids So this is my little coffee bar area. This is where I always accumulate all of the junk. 
I really want to get a cute little stand to put over here to put like my coffee on display and stuff and hopefully that would motivate me to stop putting my mail and junk on here but for the time being this is my clutter spot so we're gonna get all of the papers gone through throw away the trash organize my papers into my file box and get them off of the countertop and if you guys do notice i have the cutest little reindeer cookie jar i just bought that from sam's club if y'all have a sam's club membership you need to go check it out they had a bunch of really cute ones they have like a reindeer a gnome um all kinds of super cute ones and it actually comes with cookies inside of it so I just bought it and I don't really want to put it away because I'm gonna be decorating for Christmas here in the next few weeks so I ended up just moving it into my bedroom for the time being because I don't want to store it away somewhere and then forget that I bought it so I'm just putting it in our bedroom for now and getting it out of the kitchen because it just doesn't fit right now. We still have all of our fall decor up and I actually still have my Halloween decorations outside which I need to go and take down because y'all, I could not believe everyone in our neighborhood has started put putting up Christmas lights the day after Halloween. I swear there was like 10 houses that had their lights up and I was like, oh my gosh, like how did y'all put them up so quick? Like, what happened? Were you decorating um, while everyone was trick-or-treating? Because I totally, I was blown away. Like, I woke up and I saw Christmas lights and I was like, oh my goodness. But it is super exciting. I love Christmas time and I love decorating for Christmas. We won't be decorating until most likely after Thanksgiving because my husband likes to give Thanksgiving its own little spotlight and he doesn't like to decorate for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. So we usually decorate the day after, but if I'm able to convince him, then I will decorate sooner because I get super excited. I just love having all the Christmas lights up. Let me know down in the comments, when do you guys put up all your Christmas decorations and all of that because I'd love to know. I am itching to put mine out, especially because so many people, not only in my neighborhood, but even on Instagram, they're already posting their decor and it's getting me super excited. <laughs> but as you can see, we're now tackling these two cabinets. Like I told you guys, this is where I throw all of my junk. So not only was it on the countertop down there, but it's also up top. I just had all of my vitamins. I had essential oils. I have my gum, like just the most random things. So I'm going through seeing what I can move to a better spot that would make sense and throw away stuff that I don't need that's just sitting up there. And then we're gonna organize it a lot better. That way it's more functional. I use my glass mixing bowls all the time, but I had them up so high that it was hard to get to. So I just wanted to rearrange things a little bit just to make it make more sense. I had recently done a huge kitchen declutter, which if you guys missed that video, I will put in the cards for y'all to check out when you get done watching this one. But because I recently decluttered the kitchen, I knew there wasn't too many like mugs and cups that I wanted to throw away that were in this cabinet or to donate just because I had already gone through it. So everything that I had, I knew that I was going to be keeping. It was just a matter of organizing it better. I had all of my coffee mugs down on the bottom shelf and you guys, I don't use them. <laughs> like 
I always use a tumbler because, you know, hashtag mom life. My coffee gets cold way too quick if I put it in a mug. So I always have my coffee in a tumbler and I have a few mugs that I just don't want to get rid of because they're cute. We do use them if the kids want hot chocolate or, you know, something like that. But for my coffee, I actually don't use mugs. So I went ahead and put the mugs up at the top. That way, you know, they're out of the way. I don't really use them, so I don't need to have them super handy. And then I put my tumblers on the middle rack and then the bottom I put my coffee and my decaf coffee. I have started drinking decaf in the afternoon. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm an avid coffee drinker. I usually drink coffee in the morning and then again in the afternoon. And they're typically 16 ounce coffees, so I'm drinking a lot. And I've just been struggling sleeping, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my afternoon coffee to a decaf and see what happens. And I do feel like it's been making a difference. And not to mention, I have had some high blood pressure recently and I'm just trying to figure out, is it because of the caffeine? So anyway, long tangent, <laughs> I've started drinking decaf in the afternoons. You guys, I am so happy that I ended up moving the table over here. Is it just me or does it seem so much brighter and open over here now that the big table is over here? I never thought that putting the big table over here would make it seem more open, but it really does for me. I love it so much, but since I did move the table in here, I really wanna repaint that wall because I feel like the blue is clashing I'll probably end up spray painting our bar stools as well. I'm, I haven't quite decided if I want to spray paint them white or do like a metallic black. I'm still not sure. Let me know what you guys think, what color I should do the bar stools. And then the wall, I'm thinking I'm going to go with either a same like gray that's on the rest of the walls. So super, super light or go maybe a shade or two darker but still keep it gray i just haven't decided i don't know i love that green color but i just think it would look weird to paint that wall green just to match um the table and plus we already have a big accent wall in the green so i don't know i'm so back and forth like what color i should paint it i'm also thinking what if i did like a beige color or like a cream color i don't know i need some help i'm really bad at like interior decorating so any suggestions are welcomed please leave them down below because i know for sure i'm gonna paint the wall and the bar stools i just need to know what colors would look best Also, now that we have the table out of this room, it feels so much more open in here. I do have the table and chairs, the round table. I have it listed on Craigslist right now, hoping that it will sell. If not, we will likely just put it into our storage unit, but we would prefer to sell it because, you know, we just don't want to hold on to things that we're not going to use. So hopefully we can sell that. And I am getting a desk for that room soon, which, <laughs> You guys, I kind of wish I would have picked a different color. I ended up picking a blue desk because I was thinking about putting it upstairs before I moved the table. And then it was just kind of a spur of the moment when I decided to move it. So I'm kind of kicking myself because they had a 
beautiful green desk. It was like a sage color and I almost picked that one, but I went with the blue, but I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm not gonna repaint that green wall. I love that green. So we're just gonna make the desk work in there. It's gonna be blue and white, but we'll just see what it looks like when it comes in. Um, but as you guys can see, I actually stopped cleaning for a minute and baked to Adrian a smash cake. She really wanted this smash cake for her birthday. She wanted me to smash her face into it. So I will actually leave that little clip of us singing happy birthday and smashing her face into the cake. I'll put it at the end of this video for those of you who are interested. I'll also be sharing it on my vlogging channel as well, but it was so much fun. She loved the smash cake. But you guys, that was like the messiest cake I had ever made. It was so crumbly and moist. So when I went to put the frosting on it, it was just, it was crumbling. It looked like a hot mess, but I was like, you know what? It's a smash cake, so who cares? It's gonna get ruined anyways. And it tasted amazing. So that was the only thing that mattered. <laughs> So of course, per usual, I had a basket, a huge basket full of folded clothes that needed to be put away. So as soon as I got done folding this load of laundry, I was gonna be adding it to the collection and going upstairs to put all of the boys' clothes away because it was starting to really overflow in that laundry basket. Ethan was so silly. He was telling me how he wanted to be a Power Ranger. And I kept asking him, do you mean for Halloween? Do you want to be a Power Ranger next year? He's like, no, now I want to be a Power Ranger. And I was like, okay, you can be a Power Ranger. He's so funny. He's been carrying around that sword since Halloween. Even still now, like as I'm recording this voiceover, he has been carrying that sword around everywhere. It's so cute. So after I got done putting away that clothes, it was time for me to go get the kids from school and I called it a day for all of the cleaning because then we had Adrian's fun birthday. We went to the trampoline park and then I took her to Barnes and Noble because she wanted to pick out a book and use her birthday money. So she got tons of Harry Potter collectible things and we did our smash cake and all that fun stuff. So it is now the next day and i really wanted to try the trick that you guys mentioned to fix my carpet shampooer so the handle attachment stopped working on me it just wouldn't squirt the water out anymore and i had a couple of y'all tell me to try super hot water with some vinegar and soak the tips so i ended up soaking both of the tips for about 15 minutes and you guys i could not believe it when i plugged it in and tried the shampooer, I was so thankful and happy that it was working again. I was so excited, you guys, because look, my chairs were so disgusting. You'll see I shampoo all of them, and you guys, they are all so gross. They really needed it. There was no way I could list them looking like that, so I was so thankful. I was able to get this working again, and I didn't have to go buy any replacement parts or a new shampooer, so, Thank you guys so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate all of y'all's tips and tricks. I feel like 
you know, I'm here motivating and giving you guys tips, but you guys help me out so much too. And I just want you to know that I am so appreciative. So thank y'all so much. And <laughs> I've mentioned this before, you guys, this shampooer is the messiest shampooer. I mean, the entire time I'm pressing the button and squirting, it's like shooting. I mean, you can see my chair. It's like shooting onto the chair. It was shooting onto me. I mean, look at Yoda. He's like, yeah, I'm out of here <laughs> because he was getting wet too. It was just flying all over the place. <laughs> so um, needless to say, when I got done, I had a huge pile of water on the floor but I will take it because I was able to clean my chairs and they end up turning out beautiful. I also use the Bissell um, cleaner inside of my Bissell. I love that stuff. I feel like it works great at getting stains off. So definitely recommend the Bissell um, cleaning, product, cleaning product as well. I always feel so bad whenever I'm using the shampooer because Ethan, my three-year-old, is so afraid of it. Like he thinks it's so loud. He doesn't like it. Like he runs away every time I turn it on. So as I was cleaning, he he was hiding in his room with the door closed. And any like every few minutes he was coming out like, Mom, are you almost done? <laughs> like I felt so bad. So I was really trying to shampoo as quickly as I possibly could because he wanted to come out of his room and he definitely did not want to come out while I was shampooing. To write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Cause I finally learned my lesson. Cause you This last chair was definitely by far the worst. This was actually yogurt that was in the chair. Not only was it splattered on the back of it, but whenever I was watching my friend's daughter, she had spilt her yogurt on the chair and I just never was able to shampoo it. So yeah, definitely needed to shampoo this really bad. There are still a couple marks that I didn't like shampoo the, like, the greatest at. So I definitely need to go over them one more time. But you guys, they look a million times better. I am so glad that I was able to do this. 
get them nice and cleaned because either way like if we store them or if we sell them like obviously I did not want to store them looking like that because they just look disgusting so really thankful these are nice and clean and because I was shampooing and the floor was so drenched the rug that was near the front door ended up getting soaked too which I did need to shampoo that as well it is a cream color and it was starting to look pretty dirty so I was like you know what it's already drenched and I already have the shampooer out so I might as well shampoo that while I'm at it so I do end up shampooing that rug really quick as well The rug looks so much cleaner now and you guys the water was so disgusting when I got done it was so satisfying to dump it out but we are now at the end of today's cleaning video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up it helps out my channel and I truly appreciate it if you're new here and you made it this far into today into today's video and you're not subscribed yet go ahead hit that subscribe button Join my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. I upload new cleaning videos every single week, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have another decluttering video for you guys. I am doing a decluttering series, which I am so excited about. You guys know my goal for 2023 is to just be more minimalistic. So today we're gonna be tackling another closet, the kitchen cabinets, and I'm sure so much more. So if you guys are in need of cleaning motivation, decluttering motivation, you're definitely in the right place. Make sure you guys check out my decluttering series so you don't miss all of that decluttering motivation. I will have it linked in the cards for y'all. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So right off of our living room, we have this closet. We only have two closets downstairs. I organized the other closet in the last video. So this is our other main closet downstairs. And as you can see, it's bursting at the seams. It is a like short closet, funny angle, and we just have a lot of stuff in here. So I need to go through it. This is the kids like arts and crafts slash our filing boxes in here, but we need to make this look a lot better. So let's go ahead and get to decluttering. If y'all have been here for a while, you know that I have cleaned out this closet so many times. And yet again, it is cluttered once again. <laughs> that is children for you. But I knew that I wanted to really change things up because every time I go into this closet, the kids are constantly just pulling things out, making a big mess. So it really wasn't functional. So we are going to be rearranging this closet and just making it a bit more organized that way the kids can get in here and get out without making such a big mess every time they do and as you guys know i have this filing box in here that has tons of papers that i have been saying i was going to go through 
for years, like literally years. So I'm happy to say that later in this video, we are also gonna be decluttering this filing cabinet. And that was honestly the most satisfying thing that I did in today's video because I have been putting it off for so long. So to finally go through it and get it just decluttered and minimized, it felt the best. So if you guys have something or somewhere that you've been putting off, I really hope this gives you the motivation to tackle it because I promise you, you are gonna feel on top of the world when you get done. It's honestly the best feeling ever. I know I say this every single decluttering video, but it's so true. The satisfaction after you get done is worth it. All right, here is everything out of the closet. Ethan grabbed his container of Play-Doh so he could play with it. And then I think what I'm gonna do, I pulled the file box out. I think I'm actually gonna move that into our closet. It just makes more sense to be in our closet. And then it will free up some space in here, make more room for their crafts. Um, but we're definitely gonna vacuum in here and everything. But before we do that, I want to go through all of this, see what we can get rid of, and see how we can organize it just a bit better. And you guys already know my rule of thumb. If we haven't used it in the last six months, then I'm just trying to part ways with it get rid of the clutter, make my life more minimal. But for the most part, everything in here was stuff that we used. I mainly just needed to get the trash out of here and the junk because I've decluttered this closet numerous times. So thankfully I didn't have too much that I needed to get rid of. Wanna put you in that spotlight. I must admit, every time I'm trying to declutter and Ethan, my three-year-old, is awake, it definitely is challenging because he's often stopping me or asking to play with the stuff that I'm going through. But if you guys are also trying to declutter with a little one at home or multiple kids at home, take your time, don't stress out, start small because I know it does get overwhelming whenever you have kiddos at home. And of course they want attention and love and they wanna play while you're trying to clean. So take your time, give yourself some grace. There is no rush. Like you guys, the older I get and the older that my kids get, I just realize that time is fleeting and we really do have to cherish all of the little moments and don't get stressed out over the messes and the clutter and the to-do list because I can assure you it's going to be there for whenever you're ready to tackle it. So I just want to be that little reminder that give yourself that grace and time because we have so many things to get done and the one thing we can't get back is time so anytime you have the choice between spending time with friends family anyone important in your life take that time and do that and focus on your to-do list whenever you have a moment and I know some of you guys are probably like, oh my goodness, you're supposed to be a cleaning motivation channel. And don't get me wrong, I am all about that cleaning motivation and getting the things done. But I also want to remind you guys that, you know, having a clean house is amazing and I love it. But, you know, also spending that quality time with the loved ones around you is so much more important. And I really feel like just the things that have been going on recently in my life and stuff like that it just it really has opened my eyes to just time in general it's it sucks like it really does suck thinking you know our time here is limited but not to get sad and sappy but you know my papa recently passed away which was really difficult like probably one of the closest people it won't probably the second closest death that I've had to deal with and it was really hard the only very thankful and fortunate thing was that I was able to visit with him a few months ago and you know just 
have that reassurance that he knows that I love him and you know just all of that um, it helped I mean obviously it doesn't make it easy but it definitely helped and yeah I don't know just with all of that going on in my life recently it really has me thinking like dang I don't want to miss out on all of the important moments in my life and people in my life so just a friendly reminder not to bring the mood down I want to keep this happy and positive but also let you guys in and know that you know life has been pretty tough recently a lot of hard moments in time you know and moments that we all go through in life so I just want you guys to know that I'm here if you guys are struggling to I feel you never feel shy to drop a comment or DM me on Instagram. I love connecting and you know, if you are going through a hard time and you just need someone to talk to, I'm always here as well. So just wanted to get that out there for you guys. Now that everything has been gone through, it is time to clean the closet. I definitely needed to vacuum. There was a lot of stuff on the carpet. And then I wanted to quickly wipe down the baseboards just because they were a bit dusty. And then we're gonna be putting everything back in. So what I got going on now is this bin is like an arts and crafts bin. I keep this on the highest shelf where Ethan can't get to it because we have like hodgepodge, stamps, paint, stuff like that. And then this is the one that goes on the floor. I tried putting almost all of the puzzles, coloring books, paper, playing cards, stuff like that. I do have a few that won't fit in here. Um, I'll probably move this yoga ball. I just shoved it in here to keep everything up, but I'm trying to fit everything into this basket. And then we just have a few other games. We have Twister, Uno, um, another puzzle, and Shark Napoli, which I might move upstairs into the closet. I think I showed you guys. These are bigger puzzles I don't want him getting a hold of. So I think I'm gonna actually move all these upstairs into that closet. I have plenty of space. And then um, we can put this in here, take out the yoga ball. And then yeah, everything is already organized and gone through. I have my basket for all of the pull-ups, powder, stuff like that. Kinetic sand, that's gonna go in the bin that Ethan is playing with right now. So that has a space. That has a nice organized space for it, but let's go ahead and put everything back into the closet and see what it looks like. When we first moved into this house, my second oldest daughter, Adrian, she said that she wanted this closet to be like her little hangout spot, a little reading area, and I really wanted that for the kids, but unfortunately we don't have enough closets, so I had to utilize this. But I think I have gotten it down so much where I could actually put like a little beanbag chair or something in here. You see, I do put my light for um, my YouTube videos in here, but I'm thinking about taking that out and making this a little hangout spot because my kids are silly. They like to hang out in the closet. <laughs> Let me know if, you're, if your kids do the same thing, but I've been thinking about doing that since I rearranged everything. I hope it means that you come home to me. Oh my goodness, you guys, this closet is so much better. So I now have all of the kids games, puzzles, coloring books down at the bottom. This is where Aiden is gonna keep all of his Play-Doh and attachments to that. 
We have his pull-ups and wipes. These are the cookie cutters that he also likes to use for his Play-Doh. I have my balloon blower upper, back massager crayons. And then up at the top is the stuff that I don't want him to get to. And then I do typically keep my tripod in here and then that is my extra lighting that I use for videos sometimes. So that is looking so much better, so much less clutter. I have a pile of books that came out of there that need to go upstairs into the kids' bedrooms. I have a small bag of trash. And now I'm going to go through my file box and try to get rid of a lot of stuff. Y'all, I filmed like maybe an eighth of the time that I was decluttering this filing cabinet. I had papers from 2008. That is insane. Like what in the world do I need with papers from 2008? <laughs> like me and my husband have been together since 2006 and I just could not believe the amount of things we were holding on to. I didn't want to bore you guys with going through paperwork literally for hours. I was probably going through documents for three hours. It was so exhausting, but oh, when I got done, I felt so accomplished. There's still some more stuff that I need to go through, but I, I wanted to double check with my husband because he has a lot of stuff from whenever he got out of the Marine Corps and I just didn't want to toss it. But yeah, that took forever. Now we're going to head into my kitchen. I want to rearrange some things in here mainly because I have one cabinet that is just going to waste. So this is just a collection of random things that we've thrown in here. So I wanna go through all of this and just change up. So I have like my plates and bowls on here, but it is so hard to reach the bowls. That is up way too high. So if I can move like this junk that we barely use to the top of both of those and just make this more organized, Ideally, I would like to move some of the stuff that's in here. We have a lot of cups that are overflowing and then as well as in here. So let's just go ahead, declutter and then rearrange. Brewing up some coffee, <laughs> my afternoon coffee, so I can tackle this mess. <laughs> but this is everything that was in that one cabinet. I wanted to show you guys. Oh my goodness, me and some friends went to a pottery place and you got to pick out your own thing to paint and <laughs> You guys, I suck at drawing. I should have picked something where I could just paint it and not try to draw, but this is my masterpiece I did. <laughs> I suck at drawing, but anyway, yeah, I just have a bunch of random stuff in here. I have tons of like random party stuff that I really don't need to hold on to. So we're gonna go through this and then see where I can move some things around. I can definitely move my husband's nebulizer into our bathroom because that's where I keep all of his nebulizer treatments. So I'm gonna move that out of here for sure and then go through the rest of the stuff. The bag that I have in here is also a bag full of handles. My husband hasn't finished putting the handles on all the cabinets in the kitchen and they've just kind of been sitting up in the cabinet. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead, move those into the garage until he's ready to tackle that project because they're just taking up space in the cabinet. So I'm really happy that I decided to rearrange these cabinets and declutter them because now it just functions so much more better. Everything isn't cluttered and like piled up whenever I open up the cabinet. So this just made so much more sense. There are other areas in the kitchen that I want to get to in the future, but this was kind of the main one that was sticking out to me that I was like, you know what? I really need to go through this and make it more functional because I feel like 
especially us, like we've been in this house for about almost two years. It'll be two years in June. And I've rearranged this kitchen, I think once before so far. And I feel like you really can't figure out the perfect layout until you've lived in it and you've kind of just figure out like what works, what doesn't work. So never feel afraid to rearrange your kitchen, see what works best. I am super excited as well. Later in this video near the end, I'm going to be spray painting my bar stools. If you guys been here for a while, you know that I recently moved our formal dining room table into our dining room nook. And it's this beautiful like seafoam green color and this cream color and our bar stools, I spray painted them dark blue and they just didn't match anymore. So I finally am getting to spray painting them. I bought the spray paint like probably over two months ago and I just hadn't gotten around to spray painting them. But I'm happy to say that in today's video, we are going to be spray painting them and I cannot wait for you guys to see how they turned out. They are so pretty. I'm obsessed. I love that color so much. So I will be doing that. And also I'm going to be sharing a grocery haul. It's not a very big one, but you guys seem to like when I throw them in here every once in a while. So I have a nice and healthy grocery haul. I've really been revamping our diet, not only for me, but also the kids, my husband. I'm really trying to get us eating better because I've just been slacking in that department. We've been doing a lot of quick and easy meals and takeout and I was like, you know what? That's it. I need to put my foot down. I'm the one that makes the meals. So I need to make sure we are eating as healthy as we can. So I wanted to also share a quick healthy grocery haul with you guys here in just a little bit. These cabinets look so much better. We do have some dishes in the dishwasher, so this will be a bit fuller, but I love that we now have all of the plastic cups and the kids' cups accessible and our bowls, and then we have plates, kids' plates on this side. We have paper plates and plastic silverware. I have my cookbook and my recipes. I have to transfer them into my new cookbook currently working on that and then I have snow cone flavoring so those cabinets look so much better and I love that over here I was able to make space I matched all the lids onto the cups because my husband hates when he goes to find his tumbler and like all the lids are everywhere he can't find the matching one so I put all the matching lids on them have them nice and organized I have room up there I might transfer that row of glasses up there because we really don't use glasses that often and then it would make some more room for my spices and stuff so I think I might go ahead and do that really quick Look at these beautiful stars I want to drive a faster car I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me Nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me A quick break and all of the cleaning motivation to show you guys a really quick grocery haul from HEB I have been trying to eat super healthy and have the kids also so this is kind of some of the stuff that we've been eating and snacking on 
first off of course we have some baby spring mix we love doing salad bowls for dinner do like ground beef on top with different kind of veggies and stuff it's really good I also picked up two Honeycrisp apples. These are my favorite. They taste so good, but they are a bit pricier, so I only get a couple at a time. I also picked up some organic Kansy apples. I've never tried these before, and I wanted to see what they tasted like. I needed some more unbleached all-purpose flour. I've been making homemade sourdough bread. So delicious, and I'm almost out of flour, so I picked some more up. I plan on making a meal for dinner using cabbage, so I picked up a big head of cabbage. We have also been incorporating pomegranates. We like putting these on top of our yogurt or just eating it by itself. This is really delicious and it's good for your gut health, so I'm trying to eat more pomegranate. I picked up two things of bananas. I've been freezing tons of bananas to make smoothies. The kids have been eating a lot of smoothies for breakfast. I needed some more cat food for Jinxie, so this time I wanted to try out this salmon and brown rice. Hopefully he'll like this one and do good on it. I typically get him the sensitive one, but hopefully he'll still do good on this one. I picked up three things of blackberries. They were only like a dollar ninety something, I believe. I love blackberries. They are my favorite fruit. I also got some blueberries. That way we can put fruit in our yogurt. This is the yogurt we've been using recently. The Too Good, it only has two grams of sugar and 90 calories for one serving and 13 grams of protein. So really good macros. And then I wanted to pick up some of these single cups in case the kids wanted to pack them for school lunches. So I got those in strawberry. Went ahead and picked up two steaks for, for me and my husband. The kids aren't like huge fan of steaks, so I just got two. This is the grass-fed beef top loin strip steak. Also wanted to make a dinner using lentils. I haven't had lentils in a while and it sounded good, so I picked up a bag of those. Thank you. Also needed some more milk. We're using the organic grass-fed whole milk. This stuff is really good. I needed some more of my favorite gum, the wintergreen ice cubes. I typically don't eat after about seven o'clock. I try to do my intermittent fasting. So if I have like the urge to want to eat something, I usually chew gum. <laughs> and then, like I said, the kids have been loving smoothies. So I picked up some more of the Berry Trio organic frozen fruit. This is really good in smoothies. And then we also ran out of our spinach that we add into the smoothies. So I got three bags of the organic chopped spinach. So that is everything that I picked up from H-E-B. It is a bit later in the day, right before I was about to get the kiddos in bed. So I am picking up all of the clutter that's on my dresser. Aubrey has been folding the laundry. So I had quite the piles of laundry that needed to be put away. So we're gonna quickly declutter my dresser, pick up the clothes. I have tons of new picture frames sitting on top of my dresser. My husband recently got promoted, which I told you guys about, and he wanted to add some like really nice pictures of you know the kids, the family in his office. So I ordered some picture frames off of Amazon and I'm just waiting for our pictures to come in the mail from Walmart because y'all, I have not ordered printed pictures in years, like years. I can't even remember the last time. I don't even think I have any baby pictures printed of both of my boys. So it's probably been at least seven plus years since I've ordered printed pictures. So I really do wanna start printing off more pictures, filling up photo albums because my like my hard drive, my thumbnails, I often like mess them up or they get ruined. Like right now, I have a hard drive that has all of my pictures and all of a sudden it says that my computer can't read it anymore and i'm like what so i need to get someone to look at that but it really had me thinking like i need to print off some pictures so worst case scenario at least i have some printed versions but yeah <laughs> that is why i have a million picture frames on top of my dresser it's just us two. All right, you guys, it is now the next day. I have been wanting to spray paint these chairs for quite some time. If you guys have been here for a while, you know. So I do have a green similar to this. 
Um, but first, before I can spray paint them, I'm gonna clean them really well and then we're gonna go outside and spray paint them. I'm so excited. These chairs were absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like, there was so much stuck on food. I was scrubbing for quite some time, but I'm happy to say that I got all of the gunky nastiness off of here and they are prepped and ready to be spray painted. I probably picked a bad day to spray paint because it was so windy. Like when I say windy, I am like talking gushing winds. It was flying all over the place. But you know what, I was ready to spray paint them. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get out here and do it. My hands ended up covered in spray paint. It was so bad, but the chairs turned out so good. I can't wait for you guys to see them. And the color was like a perfect match to the table. Like I just love how it turned out. On top of the challenging winds, I also had my three-year-old Ethan running around and I had to keep stopping and telling him like, go over there, don't go over on this side because the wind was like pushing so hard that I thought for sure I was gonna cover him in spray paint or the dog because my pug Yoda was outside too and I was like, y'all stay over here. <laughs> But yeah, that was fun. At least I got it done and they dried really fast. Like I was impressed how quickly they dried. I ended up leaving it outside for about two hours before I flipped them over and spray painted the bottom half. And then by nighttime, they were ready to go. super happy with how they are turning out i'm gonna let them dry now which <laughs> shouldn't take too long because it does feel nice out and it is beyond windy but it's always really windy over here so i've only used a little bit over one can and as you can see the last things i need to do is just the very tip of the bottom and i accidentally <laughs> just got a little bit of spray paint over here but not too bad. Oh my goodness, you guys, this color is gonna match perfect. You see, ah! here is the final look. Oh my goodness, you guys, the color matches so good. It looks so pretty in here. I'm so happy with it. I'm glad I was able to find that color. In case y'all are wondering, I did get the spray paint from Walmart and Hello, I have Mama. the tiniest bit of spray paint left, which look good. it looks good, thank yeah. you. There's a couple little spots that I need to touch up, but for now they're good. 
It is now editing Ashley and I totally forgot to close out the video. So I wanted to thank y'all for being here and watching. I hope y'all are enjoying my decluttering series. It's seriously so satisfying. I cannot wait to go through my entire house. But if you guys do enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. I do upload cleaning content every single week, and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye! Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I have so much to get done. I did not clean yesterday and you guys will be able to tell because it's a disaster. I didn't clean up last night fully. So kitchen's a mess, living room needs deep cleaning. I have laundry to do. The kid's bathroom is disgusting. So I hope you guys are ready for some serious cleaning motivation. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. So we're going to be starting off in the kitchen and of course going back and forth trying to get all the laundry done that I could possibly do in a day. But as you guys are watching this, I am actually in Virginia hanging out with my family. So I am super excited. We finally are on our family vacation. I do plan on vlogging it. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure you head on over to my vlogging channel. It's just Ashley's Busy Life if you want to see that. But because we have vacation coming up, I've really been trying to get this house in order, get it nice and clean, tidied, decluttered, all of the good stuff, because we are gonna be gone for over a week since it is quite the drive. We usually like to stay at least a week to make it worth our while because road trips are definitely tough with four kids. I can, I'm sure you can imagine like, Oh, they just get bored and antsy. So the last thing I want to do when I get back from a long road trip is have to worry about my house. So I have been working really hard trying to stay on top of everything. I'd love to know, have you guys ever made a super long road trip? Or if it's really long like that, do you typically fly? We have definitely been slowing down with the road trips we used to drive straight through like we would just go the full 24 hour drive just swapping off me and my husband but driving at nighttime is really hard for me like i feel bad because i typically have to leave it to my husband to do the hours between like midnight to like five in the morning because they are just the roughest so this year we plan on getting a hotel halfway through the drive Of course, while I'm cleaning, they are dirty and some more stuff. Ready for breakfast. Y'all know my 11 year old does the dishes and yeah, this is what happens a lot of the time. She tries to shove them all into the dishwasher and then half of them don't get clean. I don't know how many times I've told her for one, to rinse the dishes off and then for two, to not stack them on top of each other but you know she's still learning <laughs> but i ended up having to leave all those plates in there because they were covered in ketchup and disgusting <laughs> but we're gonna pick up all the dishes and then load the dishwasher back up the kids typically do this but since i had so much in the sink first thing in the morning i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead tackle it get it done I'm not sure if I mentioned on this channel yet or not, but we ended up selling our back porch furniture at, a, at our garage sale. And whenever we did that, I knew that I was going to be buying something new and smaller. So I did buy a new little couch, but I've been looking on Pinterest and trying to get ideas of like what I wanna do in that space because it is so small. So I'm thinking about doing like a mini back porch makeover. Let me know down in the comments, is that something you're interested in? Because I'm not sure if I should post it here or maybe on my other channel, but either way, I've really been excited about redoing my back porch. I want to get maybe like some hanging lights or something. I'm just trying to find something cute and pretty simple because I'm a pretty simple basic you know type of person but i've been trying to get some ideas hopefully that video will be coming out soon but right here as you can see my sink got clogged up and you guys when i went to 
unclog it and when I went to plunge it it like shot up at me so I ended up having to change my shirt it was so gross but I did get it unclogged usually when I use that little like allen wrench thing underneath the sink it usually takes care of it but it was so clogged up that I could not like it would not unclog so I had to take the plunger to it so if you guys ever have that problem too, use your plunger. Don't call a plumber. Usually if you just plunge the sink, it'll get whatever is lodged in there to like push through. So thankfully I cleared it away, but I had to change my shirt because it was disgusting. I had so much stuff planned for today, so I got started on my kitchen, got majority of it done, but I took a quick break from all of my cleaning motivation. We ran to the gym. I've actually been working out with my 11 year old and she's been loving it. She's been working out with me. So it's been a lot of fun, a lot of good bonding time for me and her. So that's what we did really quick. And then of course, as soon as I got done working out, I laid Ethan down for his nap. And then I got right back into cleaning because I needed to finish up the kitchen. And then, like I told you, my house was a wreck. I hadn't been doing much cleaning, so it was time for me to get caught up on everything. Now that the kitchen is nice and cleaned up, we're heading over to my dining room nook area. We're just going to wipe down the table. It wasn't that bad over here, just some crumbs over on the table. So just wiping that down and then we're going to be heading into the living room where I put the clothes this morning. I just kind of stuck the basket on the couch and hung the shirts up over the back of the couch because if I don't hang the shirts up, they get so wrinkled and my husband, he has been complaining about his wrinkled shirts. So I'm trying to make a point to at least like lay his shirts out flat so they don't get wrinkled. And then if I can't get to the rest, you know, I'll get to it later. So that's what we're doing now. And I'm just showing you guys how disgusting my living room is, which I will be deep cleaning. We're going to move the couches. We're going to mop in here, do the whole nine yards because you guys will see it was super gross underneath these couches it was very much needed so we're going to be deep cleaning them here in just a little bit but first i wanted to get this laundry done clean up my bedroom a little bit I 
I thought I would take a moment to introduce myself in case this is your first time watching one of my videos. I just want to say welcome and thank you so much for being here. It truly means the world to me. My name is Ashley and I am a stay at home mom to four kids. I have two girls and two boys and their ages are from two all the way up to 11. I have been married to my high school sweetheart for almost 14 years now. We're going to celebrate our anniversary next month, which I cannot believe it. Time sure does fly when you have kids, <laughs> but we are in West Texas. We've been living over here now for almost nine years. We are both originally from Virginia and we came over here for the oil field. That's what my husband does. But as you can imagine with four kiddos in the house, I am always cleaning. There's always a mess. So I really do love sharing realistic, messy house clean with me's. I love decluttering, organizing, and just giving you a little bit of motivation to tackle something around your house today. But over here on my channel, like I said, I keep it real because I want you guys to see what a real house looks like every single day, the norm, not these Pinterest perfect houses because let's face it, that's not reality and I never want you to come to my channel and compare yourself and think anything less of yourself because we are all doing the best that we can and that's all we can expect from ourselves is just to strive to be the best that we can be and not compare ourselves to anyone else. So I really hope my channel is encouraging for you to just, you know, clean as much as you can and don't worry about the rest. The messes can wait. They will always be there, but you know, you gotta make those memories with your kids while they're little. So if you guys are into cleaning motivation, I would love for you to subscribe, join my YouTube family. I do upload at least every single Sunday, but I also try to throw in bonus videos. So make sure you turn the bell on that's right next to the subscribe button. That way YouTube knows to notify you every time I upload and I truly appreciate it. You guys are seriously the best. I have the best community here on YouTube. I love talking with you guys. So never feel shy. Leave me a comment. I try to get back to every single one of y'all. So leave me something down below, letting me know something about yourself or just anything. If you just need someone to talk to, I am always here. But now that I've talked your ears off, <laughs> we are now in the living room and I moved the couches and you guys saw how disgusting it was under here. And when I was vacuuming, there was so much sticky stuff on the floor that I for sure had to mop. So I'm going to quickly vacuum the rug and get all the crumbs up before I roll it up and move it out of the way, which I was seriously two seconds away from throwing this rug away. You guys, this rug is so dirty. I have shampooed it so many times and I feel like the more I shampoo it, the faster it gets dirty. I just can't seem to keep up with it. So I told my husband, I really want to look for a darker rug really soon. I know right now it's not like the best time because you know, everything has been super expensive, but I really want to start looking and hopefully I can find a good sale on one soon because this rug is driving me crazy. The only reason why I didn't throw it away was because it was so echoey in here without the rug where I was like, you know what, with the kids screaming, the last thing I want is like all of the screaming to echo through the house. <laughs> so I was like, for now, I'm going to leave the rug, but hopefully soon I will find a really good deal on one so I can replace it. For those of you who might be wondering what I'm using to steam mop with, this is the Shark Steam Mop. 
I believe it's the older version, but it still works great. One day I'd love to get the newer model, but I love my Shark Steam Mop. It works so good. And as y'all know, if you've been here for a while, what I do when I steam mop is I actually have a spray bottle with some product. I typically do some pine saw mixed with water and squirt it on the floor. But today I was using Method because I could not find my bottle with my pine saw. But I love spraying a product on the floor as I'm steam mopping just to make my house smell really good and just to get any stubborn stuck off, stuck on things that are on the floor because it was super sticky. So I just love using a little bit of product to help when I steam mop. As y'all can see, my two-year-old Ethan was helping me as I was cleaning and moving all the furniture around. He was helping me all along the way. And I just thought it was too funny. Whenever I was vacuuming, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he was actually like plugging his ears with his hands. And that's because there was beads on the floor. And when you vacuum up a bead, when it starts like spinning around, it gets super loud. And he did not like that sound at all. So... <laughs> In case you guys were wondering why he was covering up his ears, that's why. Because it was super loud. I did go and like dump it out a few times because there was just so many beads. It was rattling really loudly. My couches did have some like smushed chocolate on them. Ethan was eating a granola bar and got the chocolate chips all over the couch. So I'm just using a dampened microfiber cloth to wipe it off and it comes off super easily, which I'm very thankful for. That is definitely a plus to having leather couches is how easy they are to clean. But I have to say, I do prefer, I do prefer the actual like comfy material because it's so cold when you sit on these leather couches, but for cleanup, it is way more convenient. But now we're heading into our little formal dining room slash playroom area. The toy box was starting to get super full again, so it was time for me to bring a lot of these upstairs into the kids room. So I just fill up a laundry basket, that way I'm not making a million trips. I fill it up, bring it up there so it's a lot easier to dump out. But before we bring the toys upstairs, I want it to fully clean in here. My cat does keep it like we have his food bowl on top of the dining room table. So I often have to vacuum and wipe down the table because he gets it pretty messy. So we're just gonna clean the table off, vacuum in here really well because his litter box is in here too. I just need 
you I don't know what it is you do I just want you I just need you I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you I just wanna hold you just wanna be with you till we grow old just tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day Now that we have the formal dining room nice and cleaned up, it's time to bring the toys upstairs to my boys' room and put those away. And then we are gonna be heading into the kids' bathroom because it was really nasty. I needed to wipe it down and get it cleaned up. So my middle daughter, Adrienne, has the chore of bringing down all the dirty clothes. And you guys, look when I open up this cabinet. It's so full. Uh, so right after I got done cleaning the bathroom, I had her come and grab all of those clothes and bring them downstairs so I could get started on that. But I swear, laundry is never ending. It's so much. I don't understand. I do so much laundry and yet uh, there's always so much more to be done. But <laughs> what can you do? We had the devil on our shoulders telling us what we should do. I wonder if you think about me too. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late. toothpaste on the cabinets were getting very noticeable so I'm gonna go ahead wipe them down get all the toothpaste off I am using the method wood cleaner and the almond scent it is my favorite All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for today's cleaning motivation. I hope you guys got some motivation to tackle something around your house today. I am seriously pooped. Now I have to go figure out what I'm gonna be cooking for dinner. I did not take anything out, so 
gonna have to raid the pantry and see what I can thaw out really quick. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help grow my channel and it truly means so much to me. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. I upload every single Sunday, tons of cleaning motivation, and I try to throw in bonus videos. So make sure you turn on that notification bell so you are alerted first to every time I upload. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome back and welcome to one of the most requested videos I always get on my channel which is cleaning my second oldest daughter's bedroom. It's always a hot mess and per usual today is no different so I hope y'all are ready for some serious cleaning motivation. This room is a disaster plus she just got over a stomach bug so I need to wash all her bedding. My husband is actually downstairs homesick with the stomach bug and I am so scared that I'm gonna catch it. My stomach feels a little off but I'm hoping it's just because I'm thinking about it so Fingers crossed that I don't catch it, but I want to clean her room, sanitize it, wash her bedding, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So this is the state of her bedroom. Uh, stuff everywhere. Well, unfortunately, I did catch the stomach bug that they had, and boy, was it a bad one. Let me know if you guys got this current stomach bug that's going around because, oh my gosh, it was awful, and I know TMI, but I threw up so much that, as you can tell, it messed up my voice, and I tried to put off this voiceover for literally four days, hoping that my voice would go back to normal, but unfortunately, it is still bad. It is so much better than what it was. So I'm sorry you guys are gonna have to listen to me sounding kind of funny, but that is why I unfortunately did catch that stomach bug. Thankfully, it was only 24 hours, but oh my gosh, <laughs> it was awful. But today's video is a super motivating one. The before and after transformation is amazing. I know you guys love this video because of that. Like every time I clean her room, you guys enjoy it. So I hope y'all still enjoy it, even though you have to listen to me <laughs> sounding crazy. But first things first, we are gonna be starting off by getting all the trash off of the floors. As you saw, I pulled off the bedding. I wanted to wash it, get this room sanitized, wipe everything down really well just to get all the germs out of here. Fingers crossed, no one else is gonna catch it. So far, only the three of us have got it. So three of the other kiddos have not caught it, which they just got over a stomach bug like a month ago. So I'm hoping, you know, that was the, the only one that they were gonna get, but I don't know, we'll see. So how was y'all's weekend? Let me know if you guys did anything fun. We finally had our garage sale. I have been decluttering the house for quite some time preparing for it. And let me tell you, the turnout was amazing. We got rid of so much stuff. Almost every single thing that we put out there, we sold. And we had some big ticket items that I was kind of worried wouldn't sell because I feel like garage sales, it's a little hit or miss on the bigger items if they're, you know, if anyone's gonna wanna buy them. But I was able to sell our old dining room table. We sold my old rims for my car and tons of clothes and old decor. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to have all that clutter out of the house. 
We actually cleaned the garage out the day before as well because it was so bad in there. We didn't want to have our garage opened up and like people come by and it just look a hot mess. So me and my husband cleaned it. I'll definitely have to show you guys the update on what the garage looks like because it's seriously night and day. Like if you guys follow me um, on my vlogging channel, then you saw it recently and we literally had a pile of bikes and we just had things stacked on top of each other and now it is completely clutter free. I mean, it, it feels amazing. So I'm really happy we got all of that done. We really made a big dent in our storage unit. We're hoping to get rid of that, but it just feels really good. So I definitely recommend if you guys are trying to get rid of some clutter, do a garage sale. It just feels so good to get rid of the clutter and make a little money at the same time definitely recommend it um, we got lucky and our whole neighborhood was like putting on the garage sale so we knew there was gonna be a big turnout of a lot of people you know coming through there because there were so many garage sales going on so that worked out so good we're also getting super excited our neighborhood pool is opening up tomorrow May 1st so we are super excited about that as well the kids cannot wait to go swimming and just be out and about again because this winter felt so long and we were sick so much so we are ready for all the vitamin D and the sunshine and no more sickness I really wanted to make a point to move Adrian's furniture and clean underneath of it because I knew it was really bad so not only do I move the nightstand, but I'm also gonna be moving the dresser and cleaning underneath of that. And oh my goodness, you guys, the top of her nightstand was covered in wax melt. My sister sells Scentsy and she gave her her own little, you know, Scentsy warmer. But unfortunately, she was making such a mess, not only on the nightstand, but you can see it's like splattered on the wall. So I told her no more wax melt in here. I ended up taking it out of her room but she begged for it to come back into her room, but she's not gonna put any wax in it. She uses it as a nightlight too. So I told her for now she can use it until we get her a proper nightlight. Adrienne has wax all over her nightstand and I've heard the hack where you just use a blow dryer and some paper towels and you like put the paper towel on top of the wax and you heat it up with the blow dryer and you should be able to wipe it right off. So we're gonna give that a try. So I'm not sure with this hack if you are supposed to do it over the napkin or you know do it directly onto whatever you're trying to get the wax off of but I found that holding the blow dryer directly on top of it would melt it a lot faster and then I just wiped it quickly with the napkin and it did take it right off so if you guys also have this problem anywhere definitely give this a try I also tried it on the wall and it did a pretty good job at getting it off but like I told you guys before we have flat paint so it was no surprise that it didn't come completely off I did I thought I hit record <laughs> but apparently I didn't because I didn't have the footage on here but I did try it on the wall as well I'm sure if you guys have satin paint it should come right off because that's what I heard but flat paint it definitely still left a little stain but I'm really happy that at least the nightstand is cleared off I wiped it down with my wood cleaner and it looks so much better but yeah no more wax <laughs> in her bedroom because yeah that was not a very good idea but now we're heading over to her dresser. And as you can see, she has so much trash up here, you guys. She loves making just like little arts and crafts things. So she often has tons of little cut up papers everywhere. So I'm just trying to get rid of all of the trash, clear it away for her. She actually loves when I clean her room. I feel like she gets overwhelmed because she has so much in here, which I do have the rule every Friday, they have to clean their bedroom before they can get on their electronics. But you know, I told you guys this before, I don't like come in and do like a thorough check. I just open the door, make sure the floors are clear and they can vacuum. So um, yeah. Every once in a while, I need to come in here and give it the mother's touch and do a deep clean. Clearly no manners, baby, I 
I thought I would take a moment to introduce myself in case you're new here. I have been getting lots of new subscribers recently, so I thought I would just take a moment to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a stay-at-home mom to four. I have two girls and two boys, and their ages are 12 all the way down to three. So on my channel, I love sharing realistic cleaning motivation the everyday messes, decluttering, organizing, and I'm always showing you guys the real mess. Not no cookie cutter, Pinterest mom style cleaning. This is like legit cleaning. This is what my house actually looks like. We are not perfect. My house is not always clean. And I really love sharing that because I feel like on the internet, we often compare ourselves and feel like we're not doing enough or we should be doing better but you guys I want you to know that whenever I get done cleaning as beautiful as it looks it never lasts long so I just want y'all to know that you should not expect your house to look perfectly clean all the time because it's just not realistic so I hope when you guys come to my channel you feel motivated to clean and you also feel like you can relate because your house looks exactly like mine. So that is what you're going to get on my channel. It's going to be the real deal, mom life cleaning. And as for me, I have been married for 14 years, almost 15 this summer to my high school sweetheart. We have been together so long. I can't believe it's almost been 15 years of marriage but we are originally from Virginia we currently now live in West Texas and we really love it here in Texas it is definitely a lot different than living on the beach but we have grown to love it over here I am a huge fitness advocate I love working out I love weightlifting and learning about nutrition that's like my jam I love sharing about it on my vlogging channel so if you guys are interested in seeing like my everyday life and my workouts and all that stuff make sure y'all check out my vlogging channel which is Ashley's busy life I always have it tagged down in my description for you guys This drawer was still fairly organized from the last time I did her dressers and we have these little Tupperware containers to store all of her fidgets. She loves fidgets. She doesn't really have too many toys but fidgets are definitely her thing and mochis and all of that so I just kind of straightened up a little bit in there, got rid of the trash and left it how it was because those bins were just basically overflowing because she had so many, but they were still organized. So I left it as it was, but now it's time to pull the dresser out and see what we find underneath here. And boy, was it a lot. Before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby. Don't need another feel. Time is not on my Ethan, my three-year-old, really wanted to help me clean behind here, so he got in there and helped me pick up all the trash. He has been so helpful recently, which is so sweet. Even whenever I'm telling the kids to like do their chores, he's always so quick to be like, Mom, what's my chore? Like it's just so cute how helpful he is. And really sweet so I hope he stays like that when he gets older but at least for right now I'm definitely enjoying it I would love for y'all to leave me a comment letting me know if you guys are into like using clean products that are more natural or are you really not 
that picky on like what's in your cleaning products you just kind of pick out whatever you whatever you like whatever smells good I'd love to hear about it down in the comments I typically just buy whatever I like and what smells good but recently I have been doing tons of research into like different products and the stuff that's inside of them especially like my makeup my hair products skin products and I think I'm gonna be switching. I think I really want to start being a little bit more natural, especially on products that I wear every single day, like my makeup and my skincare, because obviously my body is soaking that up and using it every single day. So I feel like it's really important that I just make sure I'm not putting bad chemicals into me. So I am definitely starting to switch some products over. And I'm kind of thinking about starting to look into the same thing for my cleaning products. I don't think I'm going to give up my pine salt because I just use that on my floors. But I'm thinking like in the kitchen where I definitely put like food on the counters and stuff. I think I want to start looking for a more all natural cleaner. So if you guys have some good suggestions that smell good because y'all know I'm big on smell. I really like my house to smell like fresh and clean when I get done cleaning. So if y'all have a product that smells awesome and it's all it's also natural, let me know, leave me a comment because yeah, I really think I'm going to start paying more attention to the products that we're using. Now it's time to tackle this closet. It really wasn't terrible up on the shelves, but the floor was definitely cluttered. I was shocked at how much clothes I found in her bedroom that was folded and clean and she didn't hang up. So literally that afternoon when the kids got out of school, I told them, look, this is the new rule. If I find any clean clothes in your room that is not hung up, you will be grounded because I do not wash clothes and fold them for you to throw them in your room on the floor. Like, oh my goodness, you guys, I could not believe how much clean clothes. And it wasn't just in her room. It was in my oldest daughter's room as well. So yeah, new rule in the house. We are not doing that anymore because yeah, and laundry is like my least favorite thing to do. So Whenever I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I could not believe that these girls, um, and you know, my boys don't do it because I still put away their clothes because they're still pretty little, but yeah, the girls are definitely old enough to not be throwing clean clothes on the floor. So this was everything that was on the floor that needed to be put away. She had a lot of like purses and stuff. So what I like to do is store them inside of her suitcase. That way I can tuck them away nice and neat. We really don't use the suitcase that often. So it's a great thing to store items in. Definitely recommend if you guys have suitcases in y'all's closet, use it as storage. It's my favorite thing to do. But we're going to get this all put away, organize her shoes back, and then her room is finally going to be done. Just need to sanitize the doors because you guys will see how disgusting they were. They were filthy. I mean, I have really been going through the entire house and cleaning walls and doors. And I wanted to share something that one of my subscribers, a comment that they left that I thought was so awesome. And I haven't heard of this before, but 
She said that whenever her kids would get sick, she would actually steam the walls in their house and just walk around and steam all the areas to kill the germs. And I thought that was such an awesome idea. I've never heard of that before. Let me know if that's like something you guys have done or you've heard about, but I haven't heard of it. And I thought it was so genius because obviously it's gonna kill germs. So just thought I would share it with all of y'all in case you wanna give it a try the next time your kids are sick because I'm definitely gonna be doing this because I do not want this stomach bug in the house anymore. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. And I did not lie. Look how dirty the doors were. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we're gonna be wiping these down with some antibacterial wipes to kill all of the germs. If the doors aren't that bad, I'll just use my wood cleaner, but since we had sickness in the house and they were so gross, I wanted to make sure I sanitized. Um, and I'm going to be wiping down the light switches as well because they were also really dirty. Now it was time to put the last couple items back into her room. I have been trying to get her to get rid of this huge sloth for years now, but she loves it so much. So we just put it in the corner and she actually likes to use it as a little spot to sit in and read and hang out. So she still has it. At least it looks a little bit better in here now that we have all of her little stuffed animals nice and organized and off of the floor and majority of them off of the bed. But before we do the reveal, of course, we have to do the before so you can remember what it looked like. And then, oh my goodness, you guys, this is seriously the best feeling ever. Every time I get done doing her room, I just feel the biggest sense of satisfaction. It just, ah, it makes my heart so happy. I love doing deep cleans like this. So there's the entire bag of trash that I got out of her room and all of the laundry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. It feels so good to have this room spotless. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I upload cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Ashley. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing a huge declutter and organize of my closet. So we actually started working on my husband's side of the closet over the weekend off camera. If y'all are new here, he does not like to be on camera. So 
Monday morning, I was like, you know what? Now that my husband's side of the closet is nice and organized and we put the gun safe in there, now it's time to do my side. So first things first, I have to make my bed before I can pull anything out into my bedroom. I did not want to add clutter on top of a messy room. So first we're gonna make the bed and then we're gonna be pulling everything out of my closet, going through it all and getting it organized. So if you're in need of some cleaning motivation, you're definitely in the right place. If you're new here, I do upload cleaning motivation weekly. I am a busy mom to four kids, so I'm constantly cleaning and organizing and decluttering. And I love sharing it with you guys and motivating others. So if you enjoy cleaning content, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. Yesterday we did my husband's side of the closet. We bought this gun safe and if you guys remember, we used to have Pokemon all over here in really big bins. So we moved those upstairs. We're still figuring out what we're gonna do with those, but we made room for our safe, put all our guns in there, and my husband went through all of his clothes. So since we did his side yesterday off camera, I thought we need to go ahead and do my side. I really need to go through my clothes and just see what I can get rid of to make this closet just a little bit more organized and functional. I also need to go through our towels because I recently bought some new ones so I can get rid of some and we're just gonna get rid of some stuff. So over here is all of our donations. This is something I'm keeping, but we just have it over here. But we have bags of clothes, bags of shoes. So that is all my husband's stuff. So we're gonna be adding to it. Whenever I declutter an area, I love taking everything out of the space and really analyzing it and seeing what I have. So that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing for my closet. I'm gonna pull everything out, really take a look at what I have, what do I use, what do I not use, and that way it makes it a little bit easier for me to discard because when it's laying all out, you can take inventory of how much stuff you truly have. Whenever you pile it all together and you shove it into a small space, you don't really see how much clutter that you're accumulating. So I really recommend whenever decluttering, pull it all out. You will be surprised how much stuff you have, which you guys, I really wish we would have shown my husband's stuff because he had far more things that we needed to get rid of. And I am so proud of him. He got rid of so much. He did a great job decluttering and especially discarding all the clothes that he no longer wears and stuff like that. And on my side of the closet, I have decluttered this numerous times. If you guys have missed those videos and you wanna see what it used to look like, and it used to be really bad, I will definitely link them down in my description for y'all so you can see that as well. But I have decluttered so many times, so I knew there wasn't too much that I was going to be discarding, but there was definitely things that I wanted to donate and I really needed to get a lot of the stuff that was on the upper shelves out of the closet and moved into storage because it's just taking up space and we're not using it. A lot of the things up at the top were like memorabilia stuff. We had pictures and documents and stuff that we really don't need. So I wanted to get that stuff out of here. I do plan on making a big pile of like donation stuff slash garage sale stuff just because we usually do a big neighborhood garage sale so i think i'm going to pick up some big tubbleware and store everything that i want to sell in the garage sale that's going to come up hopefully soon because we do have a storage unit so i can keep it in storage until we're ready to sell it at the garage sale so i'm going to see what stuff i want to save and what stuff i want to get rid of
this bin is a bunch of different chargers that we have. I'm not quite sure exactly what they all go to, but I am saving them just in case because you never know when you're gonna look for a charger and you don't wanna throw it away. <laughs> So I do have them nice and neat. I have all the cords wrapped up. Like I said, I have decluttered my closet so many times. So for the most part, things are organized. But as you can see, I have tons of photo albums that are just sitting there. So I did end up running to Walmart after I got done and grabbed a storage bin. And we're gonna be putting all of the photo albums condensed down into one Tupperware. That way it's organized and I know exactly where all of my pictures are. These are cords that we use. I'm super excited. I found the cord for the kids ride on bike. I have been looking for that. So that is awesome. This still has space. This is my GoPro camera, which I might use. So I'm going to keep that in the house. But yeah, everything else can go into a Tupperware. I put bags inside of these just to condense them down a little bit. Now it's time to pull out all of my clothes and go through them. So I told you guys I was doing a giveaway for hitting 25K and I already reached out to the lucky winner. Her name is Wendy Burton Stalk. I hope I pronounced that right, but I've already been in contact and I will be mailing that box out, but I wanted to thank every single one of y'all for entering in and being here and subscribing. You guys seriously mean so much to me and I'm just so excited to give back and I definitely plan on doing another one of these. So I really hope y'all stick around and stay subscribed and be on the lookout for the next giveaway. I'm just going ahead and making big stacks on top of my bed. That way I can go through them and see what I wanna keep and what I wanna get rid of. And by pulling them out and physically seeing them on top of my bed, I feel like it makes much more of an impression on you. And you can really see how much stuff you own. And you guys, I was like blown away. You'll see later in this video, but I was just shocked how many long sleeves and jackets that I owned and we live in Texas. So it's just funny that I have more winter attire than I do for summer, <laughs> but it's probably because my husband keeps our house freezing cold. Even in the summertime, I am typically wearing sweats or uh, sweaters, trying to stay warm inside the house because it is so cold. <laughs> so I know that's why I have tons of long sleeves and sweaters because my husband loves it chilly. A good tip for you guys whenever you're decluttering is think about the last time you wore the top or the pants. Whatever you're going through, think back, have you wore this in the last six months? Or have you wore this in the last year if it is like a seasonal, you know, if it's summer, obviously you're not going to wear your winter stuff. But just think, when is the last time you wore that piece of clothing and does it still fit you? Are you holding on to it just because one day you'll fit in it or you have these amazing memories in it? Like really try to break it down and think, am I going to wear this again? Because you guys, I know it's hard parting with your clothes, especially when you remember how much money you spent on it or if you made tons of memories in an item, it's, it's hard to let go because I struggle with the same thing, but I can promise you when you get rid of tons of clutter in your house, you feel so much better. It is just the best feeling walking into a space and just knowing that it's organized, you can see everything, it is all worth it. So really be honest with yourself and just let it go and remind yourself that you know, you're know you donating this item or you're selling it and it can help someone else in need. 
so definitely my tip for you guys because I know I struggle with that too I've definitely gotten better over the years but before as my husband says he always called me a pack rat because I would hold on to things more for memory sake and not so much that I was actually going to ever wear it again but as you can see I'm now moving on to my shoes I'm not a huge shoe person I really don't own too many pairs and I'm just going through and getting rid of the ones that I'm like you know what I have not worn these in forever it's time to part with them I have been wanting to get some new cute shoes for the winter time and the summer months you know next year so I'm telling myself let go of these now I'll sell them in the garage sale make some money back and then I can purchase some new ones at a later time because it's just taking up space and you guys we do not have room in this closet our shoes are like overflowing on this little shelving system so I went through there and got rid of a bunch So we have our bath towels up here. This is hand towels and like drying your hand towels. Beach towels, extra drying mats for the kitchen. And then these are our extra bed sheets for our bed and extra pillowcases. Here is everything that I'm going to be selling. Now that everything has been taken out and has been gone through, it's time to clean the space before bringing anything back in. This closet definitely needed to be dusted. You guys, I was sneezing like crazy after I got done cleaning this closet. There was so much dust in here. My nose was tickling me. So I'm really happy that I pulled everything out and was able to do a deep cleaning in here. I wanted to use my Swiffer duster first and then I was going to go in with my method wood cleaner and wipe down the shelves just to make sure if there's any scuff marks or stuck on grime. I'm going to get it off and then we're going to put things back into the closet after we vacuum in here as well. y'all have been around for a while then you know I struggle with storage space inside of this home we are really limited when it comes to closets so I do have quite a bit of workout equipment I keep majority of it underneath the bed I also have some in our bedroom because I work out on my peloton and I use like my yoga mat and stuff over there and then I have an overflow of things in the closet so I just wanted to rearrange them a little bit just so when you walk into the closet it didn't look you know super cluttered and full so I ended up moving the equipment next to my little towel bin thing and then I'm going to move my laundry basket next to it so it kind of covers it up and it looks a little bit more hidden over there.
you guys also struggle with storage in your home and not having many places to put your things, definitely take advantage of anything you can that will hold items like a suitcase or a bin, anything where you can store stuff inside of it, tuck it in there. I love sticking all of my extra like zip up bags. I have my extra purses and things like that. I store them inside of my suitcase because for one, I don't really use my suitcase all that often. And when I do, it's for a short amount of time. So I can literally just take the stuff out of the suitcase while I'm using it. And then as soon as I come home and unpack, I can put the things back in there. So definitely try to take advantage of any extra bins or suitcases that you have and store your stuff inside of them to help save some space. I went ahead and put all of the clothes onto the racks. That way I could go through them. I'm gonna be sorting them by category, not so much color because I don't know, I'm just too lazy. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm too lazy to <laughs> sort my clothes by color and keep up with it. I have done it in the past, but you know, I just, I just don't stick with it. So instead I'm gonna be organizing into categories and putting like items together. That way, whenever I am searching for something, I know exactly which space it'll be in. For living in Texas where it's hot majority of the year, you guys, I don't have that much shirts like these. So the way I organized it is I put all my t-shirts, tank tops, workout clothes, dresses, and then I have all my jackets and pullovers, anything that I wear over clothes, cardigans, stuff like that. And then over here are like sweaters and shirts that I could wear as a top. And you guys, I have way more winter attire than I do summer, which I knew because I felt like I never, like I was wearing the same clothes over and over. So I need to get some more shirts soon, but I'm glad I have it organized. I didn't get rid of too much because like I said, I really don't have that much stuff. I kind of wear the same stuff over and over again. Usually it's just workout clothes, which these are all of my workout tops right here. And I have regular tank tops that are in my dresser drawers. But yeah, that is everything nice and organized. I'm not going to do it by color. I'm just doing it by, you know, category. So here's the drawer of all my tank tops. This is majority of what I wear to work out in. I think I'm gonna go through these and hang them up because I need more space for my leggings. They are getting really tight and cluttered. So I'm actually gonna go through these, hang up the ones that I wanna keep and then organize these drawers a little bit better.
what I decided to do was hang light colored tank tops together that way I didn't have tons and tons of hangers with one little tiny tank top on them So as much as I like all of my stuff like on one side, I feel like with all the clothes down at the bottom it looks more cluttered in here. So I think I'm actually going to move these to up here. That's my husband's like nice jacket. That's why he left it over there, but I might just go ahead and move all my jackets up there and my long sleeves on this side. This took me hours to do, but you guys, it seriously felt so good when I got done. I love when I walk into my closet now, I know exactly where everything is. It feels so much less cluttered in here. And I'm super thankful now that we have the gun safe and it's just safer for the kiddos and everything. So I love how the closet turned out. If you guys have a closet that needs some attention, definitely tackle it. I know it usually takes quite a few hours to get it done, but there is no better feeling than getting done organizing and decluttering a space. You feel so proud and accomplished. So I hope you guys tackle those spaces like a boss. Y'all got it. And if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much and I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Join my YouTube family. I upload cleaning motivation weekly and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.